what they're doing with this is sinister. Nobody's talking about it. And it is um, being obfuscated right now as the, Democrat, the Democrats are playing this mass game of theater with single payer. Um, and um, everything that you hear in the news is, um, and everything I see on social media, as we are watching a, a, a deep state um, basically plot unfolding, uh, as they are taking over our election infrastructure, moving into institute, I'm going to talk about this, how they're doing this in a moment, institute a whole other, more efficient, more covert system of cheating, and everybody is talking about single payer. So a word on that. Um, single payer is theater. Um, if, if, if There is not any chance that um, this is going to come to a vote, or it's even going to be debated on the floor. What is the Democratic Party is be using this for is to uh, give Sanders a chance to introduce a bill so that the likes of Kamala Harris and Kirsten Gillibrand and their, their upper string establishment power, corrupt Clintonite type, type of politicians can go on record with an issue that is very, very popular. And they can say that they sponsored in their 2020 ads single payer. That is what this is about. They are not going to pass single payer. The, 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 the system is so corrupt and fraudulent. There is no way possible to get any of these policies passed unless you address the, the corruption and the fraud. And if you look at what Sanders is actually doing, he is touring all over the media, hired by the Democratic Party to be their outreach coordinator to say the lie over and over again that Russia interfered with the United States election in 2016 after he ignored and locked out election integrity activists who documented mass fraud in the primary and he did not address or challenge any of it. To the point that Chris Souter, his election uh, advisor, his lawyer in Arizona, advised him not to, to go along with the certification of those results and he went against his own election attorney's advice and moved forward to certify an, a mass crime in Arizona and it was a mass crime all across this country. So what you are seeing with Sanders is he is a hired operative of the Democratic um, Party. He is their outreach coordinator. The Democratic Party does not hire that which challenges their power. They hire what what serves their power, and that is the reason they know that Senator Sanders has credibility. And Senator Sanders' only power right now is he is the most trusted politician by the American people. And so when he says over and over again and uses um, that credibility to deceive his constituents and his supporters that Russia interfered with the ele election system, he is going along with a narrative that is being used to shield establishment power as they move forward to implement an entire unconstitutional election system that is um, ensuring in the future that the kind of politicians that you know Sanders says we want to uh, elect will never ever be placed into office. Um, it is absolutely, absolutely one of the worst betrayals I have ever seen against um, the American people by a politician, and it is all the worse when it is somebody who is mouthing the progressive platitudes, but then taking action to shield and openly construct a narrative which advances the power of the establishment. And anybody who cannot see this game is 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 blind or or, or so naively holding on to trying to uh, think that this system is somehow representative of anything other than corporate or military industrial power. It has to end and we have got to stop in the midst of these kind of major crises and 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 these the, 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 the entire system is burning down around us, the house is on fire, and we are just diverted by policy issues and theater of the Democrats. And instead of seeing how they play us, we just keep getting played. So let's stop proving them right, okay? Let's stop doing that.